everybody, and welcome back to Butera's Bar. Today, if you didn't get it, we are channeling James Bond, because nothing is sexier than 007, other than perhaps, well, me. I'm kidding. I don't blow my own horn like that, because if I could, I wouldn't leave the house. Um, <laughs> all right, so today we are making, and if you don't know, it came about during the first book he ever wrote, which was Casino Royale. It is the Vesper cocktail, named after the uh, double agent and love interest Vesper Lind. Uh, oddly, Ian Fleming based a lot of these uh, characters on real people. There happened to be a spy during World War II, a British spy named Christina Granville that he had an affair with in 1947. Uh, she was originally um, Christina Scarback. Uh, she was a Polish countess. And uh, so this is who the person was, who Vespa Lind was based on. Um, it's a boozy drink, let, let me be honest. And it's one of the only ones, it's the only drink, you, you hear the shaken, not stirred. That is this cocktail. It's not a typical martini. It is a very strong martini. And it's the only one he actually gives the recipe for. He orders it uh, while he's playing actually Baccarat. I know if you've seen the, the movie, um, he's playing poker, but the original game was Baccarat. And he says, I'd like a martini. He said, I want, he says, I want three measures of Gordon's gin, one of vodka and half of Kina Lille, shaken and poured into a, uh, I think he said a champagne goblet and uh, with a slice of lemon peel. Kina Lille doesn't exist anymore, um, so we are just going to use regular Lille. You get the same effect. Kina Lille actually had quite a bit of quinine in it, uh, but it's not a drink that we can get now. But it's very easy to do, so let's start. Uh, basically, all we are going to do is we are going to add, um, I'm gonna do like two measures of gin. You don't necessarily need three, it depends on how big your glass is. So we are going to do two measures of gin. One, two, then we are also going to do one measure of vodka. Ah! That's what happens with live TV. I'm going to do this one take, people. So, one of vodka. And the last thing is Lille. Uh, this is Lille Blanc. And we're going to do a half measure of that. And there you go. We are going to add some ice. And as James Bond instructed, he wanted it shaken, not stirred. I don't recommend this for a regular martini, but for this drink, go ahead. James Bond said do it, so we're gonna do it. All right, and I've got my little pineapple shaker. Um, I, I don't know if you know, uh, Ian Fleming had a house where he wrote all the novels in Jamaica. And of course the house was called Goldeneye. So a little, I don't know if they grow pineapples in Jamaica, but we're making a little ode to that. All right, shaken until very cold. And of course we've got our chilled coop. Not necessarily a champagne goblet, but close enough, I think. And we are going to pour that right in there. Ooh, sexy, right? And then I'm gonna express some lemon peel over it. I think that's nice. I don't know if that was originally attended, but I think that's a nice touch. And then just to be fancy, I'm putting a lovely curl of lemon on the side of the drink. Ah, we're gonna throw it in because it wouldn't have balanced, but there you go. Uh, so there you are, guys. Chin Chin, this is a Vesper. They're very refreshing. Um, I feel it's okay to shake this one. Uh, because it is all booze, so you don't mind the dilution. Uh, usually that's the reason you don't do uh, anything with all liquor in it, is you don't want to dilute it too much. Go ahead with this one, it's fine. But it's lovely, it's crisp, it's perfect for a formal evening. I think it's an evening drink. Anyway, everyone, stay safe, wear your mask, drink responsibly. Remember, these are boozy. Don't do more than one or two a night because it'll, it'll knock your socks off. Thank you for watching. Please tell your friends to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. I want to keep making these for you and love you. Bye-bye.